Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm hmm. Undergarments. Mm -hmm. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus. Pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. 
But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me. Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, 
It means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Necrophage is home. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going.
low now. We going? Help me! Help! It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but Griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. That's it, Roach. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is the coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks.
Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. You hear? Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Pass them out their patrimony. Give it... I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock.
Horsewoman of War. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Don't generally drink with strangers. Come. I know this to be a vile place. You might down a little glass merely to aid digestion. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. <laughs> Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help him. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. 
Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to hell. Done drinking? Mm -hmm. Then fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. How long are you gonna make me wait?
dark and putrid. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier. You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. 
hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters? They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Mm. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? So long. This is true. Some of them women The Emperor shall guide us to the I am a debtor. As to what I said, no, we don't. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened? And how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box.
tracks. Rode off into the swamp. Here's the cart. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. Carts riddled with arrows. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying.
Oh, and you find the box. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding. Like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. 
and the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. I'm taking you to the Nelf Guardians. You're a murderer, not a soldier. And you're a traitor. There's a scaffold out there with your name on it. Hey, soldier. Waiting on a late transport by any chance? What? Yes. The Corporal Lifnik set out to command headquarters for medicine. He has yet to return, though he was due back several days ago. Medicine's here, in this box. And this is a three-in-one. Liar, thief, and your corporal's murderer. Plow yourself, mutant. Captain Peter will see to him. And you, Nordling, deserve our thanks. The medication will not save our men's lives, but it will ease their dying. soldiers falling sick what with I do not know I do not ask those who take an interest are usually sent straight to the front gotta say I was kind of counting on a tangible token of gratitude a golden clinky one in fact I thought you acted from conviction not greed but if that is not the case, here. So you'll remember and tell others that Nilfgaard is generous with those who serve it willingly. Hey, yeah. Looking for trouble. 